Good morning and welcome back to Writing with Sandhya for the second episode where we'll talk about genres. But before we get into that, uh, thank you very, very much uh, for all your support and encouragement when episode one came out. Thank you for all the likes and the subscriptions. Uh, for those who haven't subscribed yet, do that. Uh, then you'll get notified uh, when I come out with my weekly episode. So before we get into that, um, it's a fine Saturday morning. I'm having my cup of green tea. I hope you have your cup of tea or coffee and you can join me for the next 10 minutes when we'll talk about genres. Uh, but I wanted to talk about a few things about how the first episode came about. Yes, it was a little raw. You know, some of you pointed out that it could be edited better. I've just been wanting to do this for a while and I just happened to be dressed up. That was Raksha Bandhan. You know, it's uh, kind of rare in these pandemic days that we're not in our PJs. So I thought, okay, this is a good time to just start shooting. So I just shot it and uh, it just came out fine. It wasn't scripted or anything. So I just uploaded it. But I hope to get a little bit more uh, sophisticated as we, you know, go along this journey. I'm also learning all about YouTube. A uh, little bit about me for those who don't know much about me. Uh, a lot of the viewers... Uh, don't know uh, as much about me as some of my family and friends who have also supported me. So I do have a full-time job. I'm working as a technical communications leader in a multinational corporation and have been working in the field of technical communications training uh, in the, for the past 36 years. And I have a blog about that on my journey of 35 years. Um, so check out my website, vadnika.in. Um, where I my blogs are up there's a little bit more about me uh, this episode will come out every Saturday and I will have a follow-up blog where I just capture the highlights or the summaries of this video for those who like to prefer to read or you know would prefer to just spend a couple of minutes reading it than you know 10 minutes looking at this one so about the writing journey, um, so the Mia Finds a Home is an ch illustrated children's book which I published along with my illustrator PRD and I'll talk more about that in future subsequent you know, kind of issues. Uh, Burma to Bangalore is my father's uh, autobiography. As I mentioned his name, Colonel V.S. Rangnathan, who's retired. So he debuted as uh, when he was 88 years old. So yes, I think as Rena mentioned, uh, it's never too late to start writing. It doesn't really matter. And then this is such a profession, you can pick it up anytime or a hobby, if you will. And you know, just right up to your old age, you can keep writing as long as you have your faculties about you. Uh, so the book, um, I'm represented by the book makers. So huge thanks to Suhel Mathur, who's my agent and um, Loxley Hall Publishing who uh, believed in the book and published it and uh, you know to everybody who supported it outside our friends and family who are our initial target audience uh, so that was an amazing journey and again in subsequent uh, episodes I'll talk more about how to craft you know those kind of books as we go along so genres what are genres so genres are uh, you know the what category of books uh, you know, books fall into. I think all of you are aware of fiction and non-fiction. So fiction is something which we create, it's out of our imagination. And non-fiction is facts, it's reality. It's about actual things that happen to actual people in actual places. Um, it could be current, it could be in the past. Um, so that is non-fiction and I think we are all familiar with that. So why does it matter? So when I started on this publishing journey, uh, my book, which is going to be out next year, uh, we were trying to figure out where to, you know, categorize it. So if you go to Amazon, uh, if you scroll down in the product description, you'll see that where the book is categorized, any book, right? So whether it's under uh, autobiography, whether it's fiction or nonfiction, and those things matter. If you want to be a published author, you know, where it comes in terms of ranking. So that's one thing. And publishers also care about it because, uh, uh, you know, publish certain publishers publish only certain types of books. So if you've written a certain kind of thing, you need to know whom to go to, whom to approach for that kind of book or that kind of writing. So it does matter. And it also helps you when you write to help you focus that this is what... Uh, this is your market or your audience and this is whom you're writing to so it helps you also as a writer right so I think um, 
So that's why it's helpful and it also may give you inspiration on what kinds of things you may want to write about. I think one of the uh, viewers asked, are there, what are the different kinds of writing can we get into besides fiction? So we will talk about that briefly. Uh, today I'll give you an overview about it and in subsequent episodes we'll go uh, you know, into a little bit more detail and all of it. And really there's inspiration all around, you know. So uh, let's start with fiction. That's something we're all familiar with. So the three books that we read about life and which people um, write, a um, lot of them will fall under the category of mainstream. So that's mainstream fiction. And within that, there are so many uh, genres, um, mystery or uh, you know, the detective stories that we all enjoy. And of course, Agatha Christie is the all time uh, great over there and holds a record uh, still for, you know, uh, being uh, the one of the largest, you know, published author with and being so prolific. So um, that's a genre by itself. Uh, romance is a huge genre. It is a big market and, you know, caters to a certain audience. Uh, the speculative fiction um, and there are a lot of subgenres here so in subsequent episodes I'll talk about the subgenres as well and my book falls a little bit into mainstream speculative fiction. There's a lot of historical fiction that we've been reading of late so and that's uh, highly interesting and um, so there is that as well and in India mythological fiction is a huge market um, you know, everybody has um, been writing about it and, uh, uh, you know, like Suhail himself has written The Mayor of Putras and uh, that's um, something which Indians can really get into. And my favorite humor, I already talked about that here are all my P.G. Widow's books. So, yes, that's a huge genre, um, which is not so easy to write, um, but really enjoyable. I also hope in subsequent episodes to be able to talk to some of the authors and maybe have little chats on, you know, specific genres, right? Um, so there's mainstream fiction and then there's literary fiction. So literary fiction is when you have the language, the only change you can have literary fiction in all these genres, but it's just the, the language, the treatment and all of that is just a lot more... Um, you know kind of pro professional it's a lot more uh, sophisticated and uh, it's it's good writing you know? so i think a lot of things that we learn in literature whether it's in school or college that would fall under you know literary fiction um then we also write for uh, children so all of this is for adults but there, there's a whole uh, market for children and a lot of these uh, you know we have in children's books as well and young adult, that is another, you know, target market. And uh, they go for different kind of, um, you know, d different uh, treatment and language. Uh, vampire books uh, seem to be very popular. And of course, uh, more sophisticated mystery books. Uh, those are also popular with the young adults. So that's a, a little bit about fiction genres. Non-fiction, there are just so many. I don't know where to begin, of course. Um, my book uh, biography and um, so I have also kind of cleaned up my channel a little bit so if you see below my channel you'll see a few short videos on the Mia finds a home and uh, then the Burma to Bangalore book launch and it was mainly for the family but now all the videos are out so if you like you know go ahead and check them out and enjoy and the subscribe button is uh, there below at any time you can always subscribe to this channel and a huge market is self-help, you know, so um, and partic particularly in the pandemic times, I think that's um, such a huge target market, whether from yoga to anything at all. There are so many books on this subject, right? And things which are from true life, you know, crime stories or uh, adventure stories, action stories, um, either people themselves write or somebody else writes about them. Uh, I think that's um, a lot of... Uh, inspiration and a lot of market over there as well travel stories another of my favorite i love traveling uh, it's it's kind of a niche and of course paul peru is the guru over there but that's a lovely market to write as well and then there is like academic or technical books like it's on a particular subject and it's either for 
to be taught in you know schools and colleges or it's just for general knowledge and that's a huge variety of books uh, as i mentioned i'm myself i'm a technical writer and i'll talk a little bit more about this because this is again a niche uh, sort of um, market and it's uh, if you're into writing you like technology that could be an area that you could get into and have a very long thriving career, career the way i have had it and who doesn't like you know cookbooks um, or in just writing about cooking there's so many blogs about cooking um, i love to watch uh, master chef australia i don't know how many of you like that uh, but that people uh, you know just like to watch about food and cooking even they may be good cooks or they may not be but you know that's something uh, voyeuristic in you know watching these uh, kind of shows and reading these books um, there's about religion about philosophy it could be like erotica political books about particular uh, uh, you know political figures or an era you know those are all books that we see out there uh, which also gets into history and we talked of historical fiction there's historical non-fiction as well journalistic books again about events and about a particular something that happened uh, you know people uh, writing about it so each of these we can really tell their subgenres so in the, my next episode i'll talk about uh, fiction and the one after that about non-fiction and after that i will start delving into some of the genres before i start talking about the craft of writing um so people have also asked am i a teacher uh, and on not on uh, not on writing, so I do enjoy soft skills training, leadership, uh, you know, training and coaching. But uh, no, I'm not, I don't teach writing. Um, I'm a working full time, full time mom, and when I have time, I write. So I really don't have time for that right now. But yeah, I'm open. So who knows? Uh, you know, maybe uh, if I have, if there's a holiday or something, and maybe if there is a need, uh, I can look at coming up with some workshops. But no, I'm not really. <laughs> this and this isn't. Uh, about teaching writing so much as just giving an overview and introduction and you know uh, getting giving you some ideas on how to go about this right so um we'll talk all about that and in the next episode as i mentioned we'll talk about fiction so join back and do like comment share subscribe uh, and let me know what you would like to hear about and uh, we'll talk about that in subsequent episodes so see you next time bye